Governor Wetu Wabomet, County Professor Hirare Balchok, the spouse of the Governor, Her Excellency Salin Batok, <laughs> Area MCA, members of the County Assembly, na County Executive, Nakada Chairman, Musijali, what our hour knew at Totoangus in you and Pian no appenda. At our picket canela, our cunyu and the wang, now appenda sana. Eh? Now appenda cabisa. Eh, now you govern the way to at our Angali and at our Marisa Ikitu. Sintio Nakada Chairman, the friend. Mayrori, CEO wa Nakada, Director and Staff of Nakada, Regional Manager Robert, Robert, Acting DCC, Wetu, the DCC, Wabomet Central, OCS, Yule Wetu Akohapa, Mr. Ochieng, CIPU Commander, DCIO, Bishops, wale wote wako hapa na wale watu wa, wa, wa viongozi wa kanisa ambayo wako hapa waze wetu ambayo only elders na muko hapa na mababa wa, wa area hii partners ambayo wako hapa Red Cross NHIF clergy private hospitals around na wale wote wamekuja na wawa hawa watoto wangu bwana asifiwe unajua nikiwaangalia hivi mumepona kabisa unajua uki, ukiniona hapa kama mama na waangalia tu na waona tu naonea 18 mumepona kabisa nilisema nita Nita kusukumana na nyinyi mpaka mumalize mumalize hii mapombe muache muache hiyo maneno ya kuchoma mabetri muwe na boma mzuri muwe na watoto muwe na bibi wazuri na mimi nitazaliwa huku <laughs> Sio ndio kweli Na sasa nataka kuleta salamu ya Deputy President Regadi Gashagwa, yule munaita Rigiji. Na niseme nikisimama hapa. Leo nikiangalia kuna mambo ambaye nafikiri tutarekebisha kama serikali. Leo asubui hii. Nikiangalia naona ni saa kama saa sita. Hawa watoto wamekuja hapa mapema. Wamekunywa pombe. Sinirazi ma walikuwa mahali. Unawaona vile wameka. I think we need to change the way we are doing things as a government. Nimeona tuko hapa tumeja askari chiefs DCC. We are not doing very well. I can't lie to you. If you come to our place, you cannot find mutu wa mekunyo asahi. Na mumeona serekari ya Dr. William Samoe Ruto na Deputy President wa metoa amli. Hii pombe haramu tumalize. Na mukiona tukienderea hivi, tutapoteza kizazi Tukiangalia tu, and I pray to God that this is not going to happen, and it is not going to continue. Watu walifikiria tutaanza na tutaacha. Lakini ukiangalia katika presidency, muangalia kutoka wa president, Mama Recho, Her Excellency, Deputy President, His Excellency, Regadi Gashagwa, na uangalia mimi, sisi ya tukunyua gipombe. Kwa hivyo tutasukumana na hii kitu mpaka ishe. Biblia inasema katika
Proverbs Tharathini na moja kutoka mstari wa kwanza mpaka sita kulikuwa kijana kama huyu ambaye alikuwa amelewa na mto, a, amelelewa vizuri na mama yake na kaanza kuongea juu ya mama na ndio naongea na kina mama msikie na muelewe kwa sababu ukiona pombe zimeelea namna hii sisi wazazi ni lazima tuchukue jukumu letu tuanze kufanya mambo ambaye mzazi anatakikana kufanya kwa sababu kiona watoto wetu wame, wameenda hali hii sisi kama wazazi tuna jukumu na kubadilisha mienendo yetu na matendo ndio watoto wetu waweze kuenda laini kwa hivyo huyu mtoto alikuwa mfalme na akaongea juu ya mama yake na ukienda kwa kanisa tunaambiagwa juu ya huyu mama ambaye alikuwa amelea mtoto wake vizuri na hivi ndivyo huyo kijana alisema mama yake alimwambia sikiza sikiza mtoto wangu wa kiume akamuombea na akasema Mungu ajibu maombi kwa sababu wewe mtoto wangu wa kiume mnanisikiza wale watakuwa ma reverend na ma pastors si nimeona umesema utakuwa pasta na yule mwingine reverend na Mungu awafanyie hivyo kwa sababu maneno yako na nguvu Mama akaongea akamwambia mtoto wake wa mvulana kama ni wewe utakuwa mfalme ni lazima ujiepushe na mambo ya usherati ni mambo ni vizuri uji tenge na mambo ya kunywa pombe na kunywa hata vileo vikali akasema kama wewe ni kijana na wewe unataka kuwa mfalme uwezi kunywa vileo na utarajie utafanya hayo maneno na kwa hivyo mama Ramweli akasema mama yangu akaniambia ndio niwe kiongozi niwe baba mzuri niwe na boma mzuri na niwe kiongozi ambaye ataongoza nchi kwa sababu mtaongoza nchi lazima hii vileo muachane nayo kwa sababu mnayopolewa mambo yanaharibika nimesikia mmoja wenu amesema mumekuwa na bibi bibi ametoroka kwa sababu kama mimi ni bibi ya, ya mtu tuseme ni rigiji anakunywa anakuja anarara chini ya kitanda amechoma mabetri yaifanyi kazi transformers zimeisha kweli unafikiria mimi nitarudi kwetu na kwa hivyo vijana wangu sikizeni kama mimi ni mama na mimi nasema ni mama yenu na ninawapenda vile mulivyo lakini hii mambo ya ma transformers zimechomeka hakuna ukija nyumbani eh? umekunywa pesa yote watoto hawana nguo watoto hawana fees mama watatoroka na ndio nikasema nitasukumana na nyinyi mpaka mpaka muwe baba wazuri na mimi nikiwaangalia mimi naona mnabadilika na ndio leo meona nimekuja mambo ya kufungua hii center na niseme kwa governor wetu na mama wetu wa hii county na assembly na wale partners ambao wamekuja na kada kuna mambo ambayo tunatakikana kufanya na ni kuangalia kizazi hiki au kitaangamia sisi tukiangalia na tukiona vile mnaendelea Mungu awasaidie. Unaona nikisimama hapa kama mama na kama umuhubiri, unaona hawawezi pika kelele. Niliwaambia hao watu ni kuwapenda tu na kuwapatia heshima. Na watanyamaza tu mpaka nitamaliza. Si ndio? Eh huyo rigiji ndio napikia. Eh? balchoka na pikiwa na mwingine 
Kwa hivyo wazazi tukiwa hapa kwa hii center ambaye tunataka kuanzisha mradi ambaye utaendelea wa kuleta hawa watoto wetu ndio waweze kupata dawa kwa sababu pale wamefika ni wagonjwa sasa na ni lazima tujue watabadilika namna gani watatibiwa namna gani na ndipo sababu mmeona tumekuja na tunaanza rehabilitation center hapa kwenu Bomet Na vile tunasema hii juhudi zote mnaona tukifanya kama serikali na ofisi yangu kwa sababu mimi nilisema kwa ofisi ambaye mimi Mungu amenipatia kama mama nikasema nitaangalia mtoto mvulana mtoto mvulana kama mjuavyo yeye ndiye mwenye kubeba begu na kama wewe ukifikiria uwe na shamba kwa sababu naona mumepanda na kukosawa unaweza kuwa na shamba ulime na, upa, na kama una begu utafanya namna gani utakuwa na mavuno utakuwa na mavuno wazazi sasa nyinyi mnafikiria kama wasichana mumelea mumepeleka shule wamehitimu wanafanya kazi wako na degree wako na manyumba wako na magari alafu wale watawaoa wako kwa mtaro na wako pande hii wewe utampatia mtoto wako kwa hivyo ni lazima mimi kama mama nitengeneze vijana wangu wawe wazuri wawe wazuri watibiwe na wawe wanaume saa sawa alafu nimesema tunatafutia wale hawana bibi wapate bibi na mimi nizaliwe si ndio lakini unajua my son eh mtoto wangu hii njia mmeenda si mzuri sana balto kadamaliza governor i am very happy today wacha tu niongee ndio wengine waweze kusikia nimewaambia mimi nitakuwa hapa mara mingi mmesema nikae hapa nilale hapa na nikae na je baba yenu naye atakaa na nani mnataka nifukuzwe tuende na wapi na watoto wangu lakini tutamuita hata yeye atakuja tukae hapa akija hapa hii hii pombe yote itaisha huyo rigiji mnasikia akija hapa lakini hata sasa anasikia si unaona tuko live pale yako anasikiza na wazazi nyinyi ndio mtatusaidia kwa vijiji na boma zetu mnajua ni nani ambaye anatengeneza hizi pombe mbaya za kuharibu watoto wetu wanaweka sumu watoto wetu wamekufa watoto wetu hawana namna hawana njia hawana mbele hawana nyuma na sisi kama wazazi na kanisa tumesema tuanze kushikiliana tuone hii mambo yote tumeangamiza mama mtanisaidia mtanisaidia ninaona mama hapa muko mtanisaidia tumalize hii pombe nasikia kwingine wanaenda wakisema huyu mama anataka watu wafunge biashara wacha biashara hizo zifungwe watu wafanye kazi ingine hii biashara ya kuua watoto wetu waache and kwa hivyo muache nisome ile hotuba ambaye niko nayo alafu nitaongea na watoto wangu saa hii It is with great joy and that I stand before you today for the launch of Koiwa Medical Center Rehabilitation Facility in Bomet County. This event marks a significant step towards the collective commitment to address the challenges of drug and substance abuse particularly among our youth. 
the efforts that have gone towards putting up this facility are commendable. To everyone who has made a contribution, we say asante sana. Your thoughts and ideas have come at the right time when our nation is challenged by recent bruise and drug abuse monies. And we are on the verge of losing an entire generation to these monies. Ladies and gentlemen, our efforts to combat drugs and substance abuse have, been, have borne fruits as the as post of my um, screening initiative conducted across the various regions in Konoin. We identified 37 young men ready for rehabilitation. In Sotik, there were 56 who have agreed. We have Chepalungu, 72, Bomet East, 41, Bomet Central, 41. These numbers, these, these numbers, those who they speak of the volume of the people or the density of the problem we are having. I understand 22% prevalence of abuse of drugs. That is very bad. And if we don't do something, this very county, my, uh, <laughs> my dear governor, we will have a big problem. But I believe that that now with this facility here and other efforts we are making in community rehabilitation, things are going to change. Allow me to specifically single out an esteemed partner, the Red Cross and Cherimo Hospital, Kaplong Hospital, Silani Hospital, Aga Khan Hospital, NHIF, Nakada, Tenwak Hospital, Longisa Hospital, and of course, the county government of Bomet, who have helped to identify those who will be coming into this facility. As we inaugurate the rehabilitation facility, I wish to encourage such partnership between the national and county governments and the private sector as they, as they, uh, as they will make easier fulfilling the vision of a dignified future for the vulnerable populations. That will include my boy children, the widows, the orphans, and the people who are living with disabilities. I pray that uh, BOMET will be, the uh, will, will be the launch pad into the Rift Valley, Western, and Nyanza regions of Kenya. The tremendous support we have received from leadership led by, uh, by your, your Excellency, the governor and your spouse. It is very pleasing to me and we feel very honored and together with the church, we will never forget. And I know God is going to bless this county. I believe that we will achieve here in Bomet that this generation will not be lost because somebody somewhere desired and made effort and made sure that we are implementing program that will be able not only to bring in patient but also outpatient uh, facility for our young men. We have others that we have done in Mombasa, we are doing some in uh, Nyeri, we are doing others in Nyandarwa, and other places in Nairobi and Kiambu. And therefore, when we put all this effort together, it shall be that this country will be transformed and our sons will be better placed. I look at everyone here, ladies and gentlemen, and we know through Kenya Kwanzaa administration, which is offering this support to execute this program. The presidency is solidly behind to f the fight against illicit bruise, drugs, and substance abuse. 
This confirms my conviction that indeed a dignified future of the citizenry is possible. Let us continue to push our young men towards productivity away from a satanic agenda of destruction that is hurting our families and hurting our communities and our future. I continue to call on all the counties to open doors to the agenda of transformation. The rehabilitation effort have a ripple effect that positively impacts economy and strengthens the family values. We are working with the county government of Nyeri and we have signed memorandum of understanding to establish a health village in Gorano area. The village will have a health facility, a sports academy, and Tivet. We also broke ground for a rehabilitation village in the Muruti, Raikipia County. In Nyandarwa, we are shaping up the Dokas Regadi Foundation Wellness Center. And our second cohort of graduates are already uh, graduated and being skilled there. Even those ones who we are going to have here, we are going to take them to the skilling centers so that they can come back here and we find them jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, on, a, on Wednesday, we graduated 132 men from Kiambu and Nairobi and who are recovering from alcohol, drugs, and substance abuse. This was a second cohort while the first one that was 85 had been done in Nairobi. Now we are looking at being able to come here and we have like 200 and we will come to graduate them. We are going to help. Nasema tumekua tuki wengi wa mehitimu kutoka kunywa pombe na tumeona mungu wanaweza kubadirisha watoto wetu. Tumefanya kuitimu kwa hao watu na kuwapatia cheti wale ambao wametoka kwa pombe na tunajaribu kuwapatia kose ambazo wanatoka na tunawapereka kwa ajira ambazo zinawasaidia na hata hapa tutafanya hivyo watoto wetu wakitoka hapa tunawatoa tunawapereka mahali ya Tivet na ninajua hata hapa Bomet you have good uh, vocational training. We are going to sponsor them there so that they can become better. Yale mambo ambao tunafanya ndiyo tuweze kupanua ajira za hawa wana youth wetu ni pamoja na kuanza nasaris. Mumesikia president wetu amesema tutaotesha na kupanda miti Birioni kumi na tano. Na ningetaka ni waongeleshe na ni waambie ingine ni vile atujafikiria vile president wetu anasema. Tuseme kama hii county ya Bomet. Tuanze tuwe na kwa every, every word tumefanya nasari ambayo tutanunua, uh, tutaotesha miti na tununue. Wale ambao ni vijana wetu wawe na milioni moja tuseme wamefanya milioni moja wameotesha milioni moja miche mumesikia county governor amesema anaweza nunua tuseme muko na miche milioni moja na mumenunuliwa na chiringi amsini mutakuwa na milioni ngapi eh amsini Kwa hivyo ni nyinyi ya mutaki kutajirika, watu wakianza kupanda hiyo miche na tutatafutana na watu ambao watawizara na partners ambazo watakuja watawanunulia. Kwa hivyo wawa vijana wangu tutaanza kufanya hiyo nasaris ata hapa kwa sababu naona kuna shamba kubwa. Tutafanya kama one million hapa. Kitambo wapone watakuwa wametengeneza karibu milioni hamsini um, wakiwa hapa tu and that is what the country should be thinking 
economy ya, ya hii inchi itabadilishwa na sisi solutions ambazo ziko za kubadilisha watoto wetu ni sisi tuko nazo na tunaweza tukishirikiana na, na serikali wizara za serikali na partners ambao wadhamini wale wanataka kutushikilia ni mimi naona tutabadilisha maisha ya watoto wetu na kwa hivyo niseme mwisho mimi naona bomet itabadilika maombi yangu ni kanisa na tuliongea jana na kanisa la hapa tushirikiane ndio tuweze kufikia hawa watoto wetu ambao wamepotea sauti ya Mungu inaenda kupitia mtumishi wa Mungu na wazazi na kwa hivyo ninaita wazazi na wale ambao ni watumishi wa area hii watoto wakiletwa hapa mkuja muwaombe na muonge na hawa mkiwafanya mentorship ndio wao wa vijana waweze kubadilisha nia na wabadilishe fikra na waweze kusaidiwa na mimi nikiwa mama nimesema nitasukumana nao mpaka tumalize na tuwatafutie kazi nyinyi wazazi muniletee watoto na wale watoto wamekubali kukaa hapa i'm sure nitakuja kuangalia na wakimaliza wakihitimu tutawapatia course na tutawapatia kazi Naona wazazi wengine hamtaki watoto wapate kazi. Kwa sababu ningetaka kuona hawa vijana wangu wakiwa na boma zao. Na nikiongea juu ya mtoto mvulana nilisema ninaongea juu ya mtoto msichana. Kwa sababu wezi kuwa na msichana na usiwe na mvulana. Ukitaka kutengeneza boma. Kuna boma ya wanaume na wanaume. Elia hii mmesikia hiyo maneno? Mulisikia vile watu wanatoka Ulaya wanakuja kutuambia ati watu <laughs> wanaume waoe wanaume wanawake waoe wanaume. Wanawake waoe wanawake wanaume waone wanaume. Nyinyi mnakubali hiyo maneno? And we are saying we are not shy to say that LGBTQ in Africa is a non issue as we are not interested we have better things to think about we have better work to do na sisi tunataka africa ijae na watu kwa sababu kama tunaambiwa <laughs> mvulana oe mvulana watazaa wa, wa nini mama aki, akioa mama watazaa nini si ni kuangamiza afrika lazima muangalie na mujue kitu gani ambayo kinaweza kutu, kututajirisha ningine ni, ni, ni gani inaweza kutuangamiza hiyo ni mambo ya kuangamiza familia zetu ni mambo ya kuangamiza community zetu na kuangamiza Afrika na ningetaka nyinyi kama wazazi kama kanisa tuinuke na tuseme la kwa hii maneno mnakubali mnakubali tuseme la kama mnasema la simuchukue mkono na museme la. Sema tumekataa. Tume And that is what we are saying. I know in Africa if you ask people they don't want that. Na hata wakimwaga pesa na mna gani atuwezi kuuza urithi wetu. Africa belongs to us. Kenya belongs to us and to our children. And forever we will guard what is right kwa sababu sisi tunamjua Mungu na Biblia inasema mwanaume aoe mwanamke ni kweli mira zetu zinasema mwanaume aoe mwanamke ni kweli sheria yetu inasema mwanaume aoe mwanamke ni kweli constitution yetu inasema mwanaume aoe mwanamke sasa hii mambo mengine tunaletewa ni ya nani na ni ya nini si ni ya kutusumbua tu 
Sasa sisi tuko na kazi ya kubadilisha wa, 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 vijana wetu waache vileo wawe wa, watu wazuri wengine wanakuja kutuletea maneno mingi. Sio tumekata. Tumetakata. Si hata elders mumesema hiyo tutaki kanisa. Hata sisi kama serikali tunasema hatutaki. Na mimi kama pastor Dokas ninasema sitaki na hatutaki. Na tutaendelea kusema hivyo. Najua wanatupigaga sana wakisikia nikisema. Na nitaendelea hatutataka ndio wanasema. We will not agree to destroy our communities because it is only when a woman marries a man that we can have uh, increase and we can be able to have communities. We don't want to be extinct. And that is why we must continue to follow the divine order. Mungu awabariki, mungu awafanye viema. Tumpongeze mgeni wetu wa Heshman, anitaomba sote tusmame sote.